What's up fam, how you guys doing? And welcome back to another video. So today I'm in Bogota, run a little errands real quick. I don't know if I was gonna, if I'm gonna make it. Show you what it do. Oh yeah, loco, escúchame bien. Si puedo lograr todo, pues tú puedes también. Ahora tengo carros, ahora tengo casas, ahora todo está fluido como sangre de la raza. Let me introduce you to the reason. Yeah, guys, like I was saying, I'm running some errands. Bueno, gracias. Listo, igualmente. Yeah, man, I'm about to run these errands real quick, and I see there's a crazy line, man. So I'm about to be in line for at least an hour. At least an hour. I was trying to come here earlier, but since they have restrictions on cars, I wasn't able to, to make it in time because I left the house late. So I had to go to another area, wait around for a while before I was able to enter the city. So I'll talk about the restrictions a little bit later, but let me go here. Let me go over here and take care of this business real quick. So fam, they don't change the rules a little bit. So I don't have to wait in that line. I just had to print something out. Now I have to go to the other place to go ahead and certify some documents that I have. But yeah, that's easier for me. So technically it's kind of like I'm not late. You know what I'm saying? Since they change the rules. So yeah. In the meantime, I decided to take a stop and eat some arepa con huevos. So, but yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. I don't think he's from here, but um, but this is a common thing here in this part of Colombia, well, and all over pretty much, where they make breakfast in the streets, and it tastes pretty good. Te molesta? Así más famoso, no Arepa con huevos. I'm not an arepa person, but when it comes with egg or something inside of it, I like it. I'm doing good, man. Arepa with eggs. So, guys, um, I wasn't able to get that appointment accomplished. And mainly because they changed the system so much, they changed the rules so much, it's all over the place. So I have to redo it, which I tried to do at a computer shop. But in order to make the appointment, that's the problem because it's so full and everybody's making up appointments. So I'm gonna keep trying to make these appointments. So maybe sometime else in the week, in the week or next week, I come back out here to Bogota again to see if I can take care of this or maybe I'll have to go to another city to see if I can get this done but all in all that's pretty much it I'm gonna walk around here a little bit and I'll catch you guys in the next clip man that was crazy I mean I don't have the camera rolling all the time but I'm driving down here and I'm looking at the motorcycle guy driving normal and then the taxi guy just turned out of nowhere and and ran into the motorcycle guy and just poosh. so of course i had to stop the car and get out to help to see if everything was okay 
and we got the bike off of the guy because the bike was laying on top of the guy with gas leaking out of it so we end up getting the bike off of the guy and everything as you can see back there i don't know if you can see but we ended up getting the oh you can see right here Yeah, we ended up getting the bike off of the guy and everything. Uh, we stopped the police officer, so he called back up and everything. So they're about to go and see if everything's okay. But he seems all right. He's drinking water. The police is on the way. And but man, that was crazy. I'm telling you, people drive crazy here, man. I'm, they drive crazy, hands down. So, hey. Tired. Man. So I left Bogota. I'm heading back to the town. And yeah, so I will have to take care of those things another day. I recommend when in Bogota, in the capital, and, or any other major city of each department, to take care on the roads. If you are driving, if you are on a bicycle, especially a motorcycle, if you're skating whatever the case may be be careful because the bigger cities tend to have a bit more congestion so they tend to be more people out and not paying attention or you know they can't see every angle um, right now there's traffic she drops it yeah man so one thing to be mindful of especially are the taxis the buses that go in between municipalities and the buses that go around the whole city those three drive awful bro it's like it's like they're still learning how to drive or something and also watch out for the motorcycles because they drive awful too but mainly the taxis and the buses like really pay close attention to those So this is a zone where the the semi trucks come, the 18 wheelers, the mulas. So they come here for I don't know. I think this is a is like a logistic area, a place for logistics. So packages being picked up and dropped off. Bascula. I think that's what they call it. So guys, this area is where, well, the airport's behind me, over here, and this is where the plane's flying, so sometimes people will come out here, chill, hang out, just to get footage of the airplanes and stuff. So, for example, here's an airplane coming right now. So that's an example of one of the airplanes landing on the runway. Ooh, it's windy. Sorry for the mic. So yeah, that's an example of one of the airplanes landing on the runway. Maybe another time I'll come out here and show you guys when there are, when there are a lot of people out here hanging out just watching all the airplanes flying. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you once again for tuning in. So like always, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next adventure of Vlogmas. So thank you once again, guys.